Hey guys, Avi here, and welcome back to my Swift series. In this video, we're going to be wrapping stuff up with inheritance and overriding methods. Let's get started. So we just discussed how to create our very own class, okay? We understood that, hey, this is how a class works, you can give it properties, you can give it methods, and classes are used to structure your data in a very effective and nice way. Now let's talk about inheritance. So going back to, let's say a car example. We have the overall class, the base class, which is car, okay? Every car has a make, a model, a type, but then there's different types of cars. You have sedans, you have SUVs, you have different types of cars, and in each case, you could have a separate class. Are those different types of cars still a car? Yes, but they're a subclass. They inherit all the stuff a car has and then some, okay? So to break things down for you, I'm gonna think of it as a parent class and a child class. So class parent, okay? Class parent is very straightforward. It has, let's go ahead and say a method. I'm gonna call it func um, parent method, parent method. And over here, I'm just gonna go ahead and say print out. This is a parent method, okay? Again, very, very basic. Let's go ahead and create a variable. Var p is equal to parent. I can go ahead and say p.parent method. And over here, I'm gonna go ahead and see in just a few seconds, once the program finishes running, let's go ahead and see this is a parent method, okay? Very straightforward, we've already covered this. Now comes inheritance. Inheritance is a concept where you take your parent class, okay? You take all the methods of your parent class and use them in your own class as well as whatever else is unique about you, okay? So going in terms of cars, you have a car class and then you might have a sedan class or an SUV class and your SUV has special properties, but it also has all the general properties a car always has. So class child will have its own sort of func child method, right? So class child print, this is a child method. But in this case, we also wanted to have the parent methods. And the way you do that is you specify, so I didn't need bracket there, sorry about that, child and then colon parent, okay? That's it. So by specifying this class child colon parent, we're saying that, hey, this child class is inheriting all the methods of the parent class, which means that if I create an object of my child class, so var c is equal to child, all right? And then I call c dot child method that works, but I can also call c.parent method because when I inherit a class, I get all of its methods. So this parent method in my parent class would have been unique to my parent class, but since my child class inherits it, I can go ahead and call parent method from my child object. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys, okay? You're inheriting a class, you can use all the methods from the parent class. The next thing we're gonna talk about is overriding methods. So my parent class has a unique parent method, but then also has a general method func get name. Okay. And in my get name function, I'm going to print out print. Um, this is a parent. Okay. What if I want to have a get name for my child function as well? Okay. So I want to have a get name function for my child as well, but I want the print statement to be different right now. If I call C dot get name, I'm going to go ahead and see this is a parent. I want it to be unique for my child though. I want to see this as a child. So what you can do is in Swift, you can override your parent class's method. You can go ahead and just repeat the function, func get name. And by doing so, you override the method. You're going to say print, this is a child. And now what it's saying is no override declaration is here. All right, so we're missing one thing. And the reason why this isn't working is because we have to mention that we're overriding this function, okay? So right before func, go ahead and just type override. So by mentioning override, we're telling Swift that, hey, this get name function that was existing in the parent class already, forget about it. Whatever code that was there, remove it. And instead, whenever my child object calls the get name function, use the keyword override and perform this action instead of this action. So that's why down here, we see this is a child instead of this is a parent. Fantastic job, guys. Quick recap on what we covered. First of all, inheritance. You have a parent class, you have a child class. Inheritance allows you to get all the methods from your parent class into your child class, okay? Second of all, overriding methods. 
If you have a function in your pairing class that you want to rewrite in your child class, mention override before the function and then specify the new code. By doing so, you can override the parent function and rewrite it as to however you want to. Anyways, thanks so much for listening, guys. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. One, two, three, come on.